FM. For encouragement on the go. In this obsession with the things this world says make us happy. Can't see the slaves we are in all the searching of the brass Got original 1965 Chevrolet. I think it's a Nova, Nova SS 65 original AM radio. Uh, radio's in good shape. We uh, repolished everything, uh, push buttons and all, and redone the background in it. Polished all that, and we done a full roar design conversion on it. Uh, it now has AM FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It has a pre out on it. If you want to add a sub, auxiliary in, which is automatic, we'll demonstrate that. It has a USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting. It does come with a bracket, or you can put it in a round hole with all the nuts and everything. Uh, the USB port will play a thumb drive you'll be getting and charge your devices. The file's already built on here. I'll put a couple songs on it for you, and then you can uh, add your songs to it. Uh, auxiliary in right above it, so you can hide this, like in your glove box. It don't have to be seen. You don't have to be taking a stick in and out all the time. Uh, I'll show you how that operates. It is push-button control. Uh, it also has Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice command. Uh, it's just like your modern-day cars. What I like about these radios, they do not have to have 12 volt consistent to them. So there's no presets or anything you have to worry about. We got all your push buttons working. So these are your presets. Okay, question. Pull them out, preset them for your FM. Everything. Everything. Yeah, it's a 12 volt world. If God is for us, that's not the top to bottom. They see that we do that. Yes, it's so true that. Yes, we've been doing it. Toner like you've always had, treble and bass. You also have a balance and fader built in here. It depends on how many speakers you hook to it. Over here you have a blue stereo LED right here for stereo light and operating LED which changes multiple colors for the radio depending on what you have it doing. Right now you're on FM, stereo. You can see the blue light go off and then right back on. Where's you go to chapter 13? You don't go to AM radio, you just simply turn it off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. It's me. Here on the farm we have lots of things to do. There's 650 near Nashville. Like old folks. Off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. Uh, like I said, your uh, auxiliary in, you can hook anything to it you want to. It's got music, satellite radio, whatever you want to plug into here. Your phone, iPod, MP3 players. And all you do is just plug your device in, bring it up, and just turn it on. It changes automatic, a little light of change right there. When you're in auxiliary, which the light's gone to green, you won't come off and go back to radio. Just simply turn your device off. Some people have them mounted. And in 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where we had it. We're going to let it do the 20 seconds. But if you wanted to cancel the 20 seconds, just turn it off and right back on like you're switching from AM to FM. We're going to let it run its course because we just got done with this one. Switch back over automatic just like it's supposed to. That's how your uh, auxiliary in works. So if somebody steps in your car and says, hey, you gotta listen to this, instead of doing Bluetooth or all that stuff, you can just plug into it, let him turn it on and go straight to it. A lot of options on this radio. We'll put that up. Now we're gonna run our Bluetooth in. 
bring your phone up, make sure you're on Bluetooth, which we are, and we're going to take the push button, we're going to do the initial pair up, we're going to let her help us, and then after you pair your phone up, every time you get in your car and turn this radio on, you got your phone with you, she'll come on and say device connected. But we're going to do the initial pair up to my phone. It'll take up to five phones. I always pick the very first one. Hold it down. Ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Light blinking means that it's looking for a device. Pairing completed. Device connected. Now we're fully lit up and we are connected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to my music voice command. Let's do a voice command because you have a mic. It's right in behind this push button. Plus you get an extra mic in case your car is a little loud and you need to get it closer to you. I found these to work very well. All you do is hold it down, bring your phone up on series, and tell it what you want it to do. Play music. So we're going to music on my phone. If my phone will cooperate. One moment it says. So we know it's the phone. Let's do that again. Play music. We know the mic's working. Sorry, I couldn't find one old down in your music. Come on, lady. Play music. Now we're on my music. I'm going to change your songs to advance. Press it once. Twice to back up or repeat. Now I'm going to show you how we're, we're already logged on. We're playing music off my phone. Phone call comes in. All you do is press the button one time and talk. Your Bluetooth will override whatever you have the radio doing. Now we're going to do the uh, toner. We're going to show you uh, I've got... Uh, Four speakers hooked to it, depending on which, how many speakers you run, whether you have balance or fader. Two speakers will give you balance, three or more will give you balance and fader. And this side operates, you want to find about the center of that, and you want to go clockwise twice, like a 12 to 2 motion, and that's going to put you in the fader mode once it quits beeping. There's your rears, fronts. As long as you're moving this, it will stay in that mode till you find what you like. When you find what you like, just stop. It'll beep once. Now it's back on bass and treble. Alright, we're going to go counterclockwise twice. It's going to put us in the balance mode. One, two. No, that's the wrong one. Go, go counterclockwise. One, two. Right side, left side, balance it out like we want it, stop, let it be. Now you got your speakers set up where you can hear them all. That's how your balance and fader and toner control work on AM radio. Let's go back to radio. We're going to uh, tell the phone to stop music. Stop music. Now we're going back to radio. That's how you Bluetooth. Phone call comes in. Just press that and talk. When you're done, let it hang up or you can press it twice to end the call. Text come in, you'll hear the noise through your radio that your phone usually makes. It'll cut in and text, give you that noise, letting you know you've got a text. 
Now we're logged on, lit up. Now we're gonna do the USB port. You're gonna get a thumb drive like this, and when you stick it in, it's gonna go. If the radio's on, it's gonna go straight to it. And it operates the same way as your phone, changes songs. Twice to repeat or back up. And the reason why I tell you you can hide is because you can operate this thing all the way with this. You want to go back to radio? Just hold it down one second. Put this in pause. It's going to blink a couple times along with this LED in here. And now we're going right back to radio. Back on radio. If we're going down the road and we want to go to the thumb drive, you don't have to pull the stick out. It's already in there. Just hold it down one second. Right back to your thumb drive. Depends on how long you were down, whether it go back to the same song or not. Back to radio. One second. Go right back to radio. That's your original 1965 Nova SS radio with a full roar design conversion. I appreciate you letting me do it for you.